It gets better with every listen, doesn't it? Edge of Saturday night. What are you both thinking? I'm, um, I'm, I've stopped dancing to do this. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? Chris, you were saying you were, like me, baffled the first time you listened to this. It was like, what was, what's happening? Yeah, I was, it was, I think, you know what, that long intro got me and then I was like, where, like, where is this going? What's happening? And there was just so much processing going on, but listen after listen, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Yeah, the production is crazy good, Nathan, on this. Crazy good. No, it sounds fantastic. It's very refreshing to have Kylie do it. Like, this is what I've been wanting her to do for a little while now, to be honest. Maybe not this exactly, but you know what I mean, like... I had a bit of a revelation the other day and I was just like, I literally don't like a single song that she's released this year. And I, I tried to like My Oh My, and My Oh My is probably the one that I would actually listen to out of the three. But I, I, I realized I, I'm not a fan of them. Um, yeah. I don't find myself ever clambering to go back to them. Um, but I feel like this, this one may be the one that breaks the mold a little bit for me. And um, I think it's very refreshing to have Kylie going for something quite grungy almost so you know so not grungy in the sense of the music genre but you know what I mean like something a bit grimy you know I like to 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 mock your age but you would be literally too young to remember what it was like to come out of the PWL years and hear Angel K or the the club act that Kylie was becoming with things like um What's the track I was talking about before? Do You Dare? And some of the mm-hmm. club tracks of uh, Rith- uh, Let's Get To It. This is 90s infused for sure, right? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, look, it, it definitely is. But I said, um, it's just funny that Nathan used those terms kind of grungy and grimy. Like you and I had just had that quick text conversation using almost the same, um, getting the same sort of vibe. You know, it, it is very much... 90s infused but it does have that grimy gritty kind of grungy undertone at the same time yeah, it's really I want to I I've said to Nathan and to yourself that the video clip for this <laughs> hear me out my people it's a factory it's gritty it's grimy it's grease it's Kylie wiping the back of her hand a bit like Charlene down there in the mechanics world and then that whole masculine environment becomes a filthy club You've got, like, Kylie yeah. has to hump something in this video clip, surely. <laughs> <laughs> something needs to be It doesn't matter if I, it's a spanner yeah. or a screwdriver, as long as something is humped. And at double time, <laughs> by the way, double time, because this Correct. is a fast-paced tempo song. I do, I do agree in, in regards it is. to the video, actually. Yeah. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have Kylie doing it. I would probably have it almost like Kylie Cummins and Shepherds. Um this like sea of workers into this club environment almost like she t- she kind of t- comes in and turns it into that but i do agree i love the idea like the, the overall idea because i think it absolutely fits the song um quite perfectly actually what did you make of it the first time and by the way nathan i'm going to give you a lot of credit here for about more than 12 months you've been saying kylie needs to come out with something fresh of the time uh, you referred to TikTok, which I mocked, but the spirit of what you were saying was get current, don't be a heritage act. And my God, this is this feels so fresh and current to me. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I completely agree. I, the thing is, I've been saying to people as well, um, the amount of producers that are going to be knocking at Kylie's door right now after Padam Padam, after that, that s- sudden surge of cool factor that she got with Padam Padam, she's gonna have so many producers knocking at her door and i so hope she takes like this opportunity and turns it into gold and i'm gonna be honest um the first three songs i don't feel like she did Um, so what are we talking about there um midnight ride my oh Mm -hmm. my and what was the other one dance alone Oh, bloody dance alone. I've forgotten about that. <laughs> well, exactly. This is what I mean, though. I, I feel like she's not done it with those three songs, but I feel like this one is certainly going into that right direction. Um, I mean, obviously, she's got a song coming out with um, Joel Corey as well, hasn't she? Um, so I am I am actually very, very hopeful for what this could mean for Kylie. I think she sees the writing on the wall in the exact same way that I do, um, because the, the writing that I'm seeing on the wall is that almost something akin to X 
is what people want from Kylie right now. People want a club-infused ex. Just letting the listeners know that Chris has slid offline, unfortunately. It was his connection, probably. Oh, no. Um, bit sad, bit sad, but we I know that Chris is absolutely digging this song as much as I am. I've got to say, Nathan, I agree with you about the concept of Sin's Tension and Padam Padam specifically produces American people knocking on her door. The impression I've got because of everything that's come out is that people get into the studio with her and they think they need to write something that's Kylie-esque. But you and I both agree. No, it's not the time to be Kylie-esque. No, no. Go out, leap out into (laughs) some different directions, right? I'm not a fan of body language as a whole. I do love Red Blue Woman and Slow and Chocolate and, you know, the singles from body language. But I kind of want her to be in a sense edgy in the way that she was in for example the red-blooded woman video um i want i want that like sex appeal um I, and i think that is what we need if kylie believes in herself believes in the vision i think she can absolutely soar by being this sexy um, clubby 56 year old woman and I think people will absolutely adore it I just hope she has that confidence to do it because I understand that sometimes I think she must feel like people are averse to change at the moment with her and I just hope that she just takes the plunge like she did with Padam listeners Chris is back with us welcome back Chris although now he's gone thinking. orange again Oh no! <laughs> are you back Chris I ha- well I'm trying to be back Good on you, mate. Thank you for persevering. Chris, we were just talking about the fact that now is not the time for Kylie to be Kylie. When the video clip for this, Edge of Saturday Night, for example, no series of photographs and montages and Kylie, you know, gracefully doing her hands in the air. This is not (laughs) the time to be safe. So, Chris, what do you envisage for the video clip here if you're still with us? Look, I, 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 I'm on the same page as you. I think it needs to be something gritty. I think it needs to be something... Oh, look, I agree. It, it needs to be out of her comfort zone. Um, I think, you, you know, look, she's just chugging along so well, but this really, I think, is going to give her the opportunity to be seen in a whole different light to a whole different people. And if they nail it, I think it will be absolutely unreal. I want people, Nathan and Chris, I want people to watch this video clip and go, is that Kylie? That can't be Kylie. That can't be Kylie. Surely that can't be Kylie. I do not want to see a graceful, like I say, photo montage. Like the, the, the dance alone was an abomination of a video clip. The laziest thing she's ever done in years, especially on the cusp while she's writing, she's writing a tsunami of success and she puts out vintage classic yeah, Maybe a yeah. tad boring Kylie. Yeah. You see, I was thinking of the golden video, actually. As much as I like the golden video, we do not want that right now. <laughs> no safe. No safe no. at all. No, agree. Kylie's back agree. in the club, so let's represent it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I get it from her and her team, though. I mean, I guess it's a it's a fine line that you walk of, you know, trying to navigate what's safe, what's too much, what's in between, what's going to be right, what's going to hit the nail on the head. It's it's a it's a tricky job, but I really do hope they get this really right. You make a great point, Chris, cuz if you if you were to go too far into the Tim vault <laughs> of what's going on in my head right now, which is fairly vulgar, I'm not going to I'm not going <laughs> to not going to deny it. <laughs> But then yeah. you, you could have the Madonna problem of looking desperate and, and, and tragic at that, that age. But Kylie I seems to pull these things off really well. I think she, she can walk the line. I yeah. actually disagree with you, to be honest. Um, Explain. I want, I want vulgar. <laughs> so do I. I want vulgar. <laughs> yeah, no, I want, I want that. I want her pushing the line because I think the difference between Kylie and Madonna is that Kylie is... I think she's proven to the public that her goal isn't to just constantly try and Mm. succeed in the sense of, you know, of shocking people and stuff like that. I I feel like Kylie's in a bit of a different place to Madonna where 
you know, after Golden especially, where she was literally like, yeah, I'm turning 50. This is an album to commemorate my 50th. And, you know, she was she was quite happy with that. And she was and she was absolutely fine with it. I actually think she's got a bit of a different relationship with the public at the moment, where if she did go all out sexy, all out, all out, like vulgar almost not obviously not to the degree that i'm sure others would but vulgar for kylie i think people would be all for it i really really do how naked should she be chris uh, that's a hard that, <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard question um somewhere between half and three quarters i would say all tits out and minge <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and get the lyrics to this song down a little bit. It's it's. I keep wanting to say Edge of a Saturday Night, but I think the title's Edge of Saturday Night. Uh, some of the lyrics that I'm catching, my God, it's hard to sing along to this song It's because it's super fast-paced. Start again, shut the blinds, feel the rhythm save my life. The one that a few people have written to me about already is a favourite line. It's It might be up there with how do you describe a feeling. 11, 59... We're on the edge of a Saturday night. I've, I've had three people already say, I love the way she pauses between 11.59. We're on the edge of Saturday night. I think that's the lyric, people. If I've got it wrong, I apologise. But <laughs> I think um, it is. Great lyrics, I though. I think it is. I'm not sure about the pause, though, because I'm like, are you talking about the time or their ages? I'm not sure. That's... <laughs> well, that's what I thought, Chris. That's what I thought. Well, uh, yeah, it's kind of where your head goes, that's all. And some of, one of the two of you heard something really filthy, but I'm not sure it's in there. W- which one of you said, <laughs> I think I heard something awful in there? Well, there's um, some, there is a line of the bathroom stalls, which I'm that's like, what I, mean, I, I, said. I know what gay clubs are like in the bathroom stalls. And I, <laughs> this is exactly right. This is what I, I'm sure this is a reference to that. I was like, is this right? I'm, but I'm pretty but sure I it love is. that. I absolutely love that. Mm. But Chris, you were thinking it's a drug reference. I was, I was, I was like, "What's going on? Are we talking about lines of cocaine in bathroom stalls, or what's going on?" Because what, what, what is the line that we're talking about? Like, it, what does it say? Line in a bathroom stall? Does it? Is that what it's? Is that what? No, no, it's it, no. It says six deep in the bathroom stalls. Six deep in the bathroom stalls. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know whether we're talking about lines or. Something oh else. God, I feel old right now. I don't well, even it really. Know what it could be either, though. This is the thing. I mean, I, I think the person she's collaborating with. Um, I mean, they. I don't know much about them, but I would have assumed that they were within the queer sphere. So, it's. I would. I would assume they've seen a bathroom stall or two in their time. Yeah. <laughs> like I think. I think they were. I think they. They're queer. You know, they're probably in the LGBT community and stuff like that. I, I don't know a great deal about them, though, to be honest. Uh, do any of you know about this blessed Madonna? Which, by the way, let's just pause for a moment. And anyone who was online today might have been quite taken aback that Kylie and Madonna had finally released a song <laughs> together, a collaboration. Um, quickly, a quick dive would tell you it's the Blessed Madonna. Do either of you know about this Blessed Madonna? She's a DJ, apparently. I don't. No. Not really my my sort of um, sphere of knowledge either. But I'm I'm confident. It sounds <laughs> they sound very good. Well, the Blessed DJ is apparently a very, very well-known, super trendy DJ who's been around for a long time, I believe. I've heard the Blessed Madonna mentioned before years ago. That's fantastic. So I don't think she's new. Uh, So, yeah, by the time people are listening to this, all Kylie's fans will know who the Blessed Madonna... You know how we adopt all these characters in Kylie world? Yeah. Yeah, like Orville Peck, I had no idea who he was up until about I didn't two prior ago. to either. Had no idea, none. No, no presence in Australia in particular, Orville. But now Orville will always be a very fond character in Kylie world. So mm. many of them, in right? The Kylie Cannon. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So thank you for first impressions, my friends. We, we're absolutely loving it. I think we want to wrap up so we can go and listen to it again. I've got a thumping through the bow, so I've already had the neighbour thumping on the wall because it's like, well, it's not even that late, but it's very dark here in Australia at the moment. <laughs> and it's Sunday night, people are trying to sleep, don't you understand that? So I've had the thump. Absolutely, but it's one that you have to pump up. You can't listen to this with your... You know, on a quiet setting, can you? It's got to be up you loud. Can. No, you've got to give it some. And just finally, <laughs> I know I keep banging on about the video, but I get such visuals when I first hear a Kylie song, and it has to be all females, in my opinion. I agree. Uh, all, 
all females in a factory and I want spanners and grease and oil <laughs> and maybe even a Rexona <laughs> reference in there at some point. I don't know. I can see it now. I yeah, agree with you though. I actually do. I, I also I also can imagine a visual in water. I can imagine Kylie thrashing in water to it in she the same way that she did in Get Out of My Way. Did she was it in water? Yeah, I think it was. She did. In the oh, yes. I'm not saying water. I want a dirty warehouse or something. Yeah, well, actually, there's a Simpsons scene where uh, it, it's actually the gay episode in inverted commas because that was such a big deal back in the day. <laughs> and one of the one of the big burly guys says, "We work hard and we play hard," and then the whole thing goes dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> and then you've never seen such gay dancing in an animated series in your life. And that's sort of what I'm getting here. A version no, of I get that, it. Maybe. I totally understand. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's accepting my idea. Kylie, if you're listening, please, um, if you haven't filmed the video already, there's an idea for you. <laughs> Lap it up. All right, friends, thank you very much. Dance on. Thank you, Tim. See you. <laughs>